morning, folks. Good morning, folks. I'm Dr. Howard Lux. I'm a sports medicine doc in New York. I'm frequently here on videos answering a bunch of questions that you send in through our website or our YouTube page. Happy to be of assistance. Uh, today, we're going to talk about partial meniscectomies, which is a treatment for <coughs> a certain type of meniscus tear. So, as you know, a meniscus is a cartilage disc in our knee. We have two of them, one on the inner and one on the outer side of our knee. They serve as cushions and shock absorbers. Turns out they're extremely important. They function to minimize the stress that's put on the ends of our bones with all of our activities, from walking to sports to running, etc. Many of you will go on to tear your meniscus, either because of age and degeneration where the meniscus wears out, or in this case, even with elite athletes. Elite athletes can tear the meniscus from just a routine sports injury or more commonly in association with a ligament tear, such as an ACL injury. The paper where this video is going to be posted with showed that osteoarthritis is very common in athletes who are treated with a partial meniscectomy. So what are the treatment options when we're dealing with a meniscus tear? We have two. One is to repair it and one is to remove the torn piece. A repair actually means stitching the tear back together. It doesn't mean taking the piece out. That is called a partial meniscectomy because we're removing part of the meniscus or the torn part. So many of you uh, have a meniscus tear that is capable of being repaired. We know we can repair many more meniscus tears than we used to years ago. The research has proven that a lot of tears, even though they are not in this so-called red-white zone, will heal if we repair them. Some might not heal, but it still might be worth the effort to try. Because the downside of having the piece removed is osteoarthritis at a very young age. Osteoarthritis means that you're going to lose the cartilage or cushioning within your knee. And that's going to cause pain, swelling, the inability to participate in sports. And eventually, nowadays, it requires a knee replacement. So when you're faced with an option of choosing a repair or a partial meniscectomy, you might want to go with the repair. You also might want to make sure that your surgeon performs a lot of repairs. They take longer than a partial meniscectomy. Now, who should have a repair? Who should have a partial meniscectomy? We really determine that at the time of surgery based upon the appearance of the tear. But I would rather give a meniscus an 80% chance of healing than my first treatment being to remove that torn piece. So again, repair versus partial meniscectomy. I know you're an athlete, you want to return to the field. It's very alluring to have that piece removed so you can, can get back soon. It might be worth the few months it takes to allow a meniscus to heal, to make sure that you can re return to play for many years to come. Bye.